Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, March 13, 2024. 44 degrees at 10.34 a.m. and I am your host, Val Kamal, and I'm a sinner. I'm here with my brother, Prince and co-star, Max. Oh, you gonna come in, Bobby? There you go. Be careful, honey. That's the second trip outside and the second trip back in. Sully's out there. Mikey and Elsie are upstairs in the bedroom. One of the loves got sick uh, early this morning, and I don't know who it was. I don't know if it was Elsie. Same thing happened yesterday, and it's... The, the, the vomit I found yesterday had a hairball in it, so I'm not so concerned about that one, but the one I found this morning didn't, so that is a concern. Somebody's not doing well. Anyway, I am powerless and life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. Yeah. Got up late again today. Fucking daylight saving time does me a number. I end up... It just throws my whole body clock out of whack. I end up staying up too late sleeping too late and I absolutely loathe it so anyway we threw some food out for the wildlife we've had some doves out there we've had blackbirds out there heard a lot of cardinals and other birds singing speaking of cardinals Got a piece of firewood out there we picked up yesterday. We're going to cut up and maybe we'll have a fire tonight in a coffee can. Anyway, yeah, where are we at? We finished our readings. We finished a carafe of Congo coffee and we've got four-fifths of a carafe of Sumatran coffee brewing right there. Washed some dishes, got some bread uh, yeast proofing to bake bread with today. Here's that Mackie again. Come here, Mackie. Come on, Bobby. Come on. You want to come sit with me, honey? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Bobby. He's got some glucosamine coming tomorrow. And Mikey will have some new l coming. Anyway, listen to those cardinals. That is so awesome. Oh, yeah, we're looking for a high of 59 today, and I'm hoping it's not going to be too windy. Yesterday we had a high of 49, and I got out on the bike to go deliver Bernice a loaf of bread, and that failed because she was in an activity. I did drop the bread off, but it was so windy I only ended up riding about four miles. And on the way home, I was about a block and a half down to the north, and coming in on a street side street off the main street out there and I got a whiff of that stinky smell I've been having in the house and you know a couple of weeks ago to the eight billion of you or I guess it's just over a little over a week ago to the eight billion of you who do not tune in on a regular basis I noticed a stinky smell a, a rubbery smell in this home and that ended up being the belt but then occasionally the belt on the furnace but occasionally it's been coming back and after smelling it outside, I'm determined it's coming from someone burning something. And it's kind of like when we get a skunk out here in the yard and it sprays, the smell ends up being in the house. And that's what that weird smell is. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm glad to know that it isn't something in here, that, you know, because it almost smells electrical and I don't need to burn down. We don't need to burn down, do we, Matthew? No, we don't. Anyway... Uh, I'm going to correct an error of fact I just remembered a couple weeks ago again to the 8 billion of you who do not tune in on a regular basis. I misquoted Joseph Campbell. I said that the past, uh, eternity is where the past meets the present. His quote is actually, eternity is where the past meets the future, which is now. And there was one other thing I wanted to correct, but I can't remember what it is, so... There it is for now. We're going to take a break.
Welcome back, and I don't really mean it. I didn't mean it when I said good morning either. Sully's out there surveying his domain. Uh, a lot of tension in the house yesterday between Max, Mike, and Sully. And, uh, yeah, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Yeah, and there's been a pissing contest between Mike and Sully. Poor else gets picked on by everybody. And anyway, so let's try to go back and recap what we did yesterday. We spit a bunch of it out already. We baked bread and uh, went to go visit Bernice in the afternoon. And like I mentioned, she was involved in an activity at Turning Brook. So we left the bread with the, with the staff there. And hopefully we'll try and get over and see her today or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It'd be a nice day to go for a bike ride uh, and go shooting. I want to do both, but I usually end up only picking one activity. I haven't been shooting in a while. and Anyway, but uh, yeah, we just hung out. We, you know, we did, our, we did our usual domestics around here, washed a lot of bedding, blankets. I already washed one binky today. Uh, did some dishes, and we've got yeast proofing to bake more bread today. We're going to take a loaf to Keith that save a lot. It might just surprise someone with the other one. I do that. Just randomly give out a loaf of bread to someone I see. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I don't. But anyway, Mackie, what are you thinking? Huh, Bubby? Oh, yeah, it feels good to be sitting here with a wind, window open and breathing fresh air and not freezing. More excitement from yesterday. Our friend Jack, who actually we purchased this home from, dropped off some Epic Times newspapers, and I read one real article that was very disconcerting about uh, investments and things you own and that there are laws that if the if everything shits shit hits the fan and everything even though you've got all these stocks and bonds and mutual funds and all this other bullshit whatever entity owns them has them and you're going to end up with nothing and there's legislation starting and I believe it was South Dakota to change that but the deviousness that goes on among people that you think you can trust is just it's appalling it's appalling and I would think after all the time I've spent on this planet and realizing what a crock of bullshit people are, uh, especially those in power, or who, who have assumed power. Uh, how fucking, what, what parasites they can be, you know, what leeches, what ticks and lice and nits and, you know, cockroaches that they all are. And it, it does not do well for my view of humanity. There's a lot of good gets done out there, but it just takes one shit stain to ruin everything. And that's sad. We're back again, and Mackie's purring up a storm. Sully's still out on his adventure. Uh, so anyway, going back to those Epic Times newspapers Jack dropped off. I did get a crossword done and a word find last night. We read to the cats, and... Uh, all in all, though, I did have a pretty good day, and we're going to have a pretty good day again today, I hope. Stick back to what the, where I find peace, you know? My cats being out in nature. And we're probably going to have a fire tonight. I'm going to cut that wood up, and we'll burn that up. Maybe we'll find some more. And, yeah. Just stay the hell away from crowds of people, and hanging out with people in general and having any hopes for people. I'm getting very cynical and bitter in my age. Worse than I've been all my life. Mikey!
Ah, fuck him. Where's that at? Oh, that goes through a college and a hospital. My key! Movie chat. We're back for our closing segment. <laughs> I didn't realize it, but I left this thing recording. Sully's back. We got one grackle out there feeding. Come on in, Sully. Come on, you little shit. What are you doing, honey? Oh, Bubby. He's got a piece of a claw there. You gonna come in, Bob? Here, come on. Come on. All right. All right, so. I think that's all we got from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, angry, tired, resentful, grieving, twisted, convoluted, happy and grateful soul. Piss off. Happy, wonderful Wednesday, and thanks for not tuning in.